Welcome to Ball Talk Deep, where we talk deep about ball. It's Andrade, and today we're going to talk about the Zion 1, the signature sneaker debut from Zion Williamson under the Air Jordan brand, because that's who he's sponsored by. Of course, Jordan's under Nike for anyone who is unaware. And I'm not going to lie. Well, actually, before we get into it, drop a like, drop a sub, drop a comment. We post five videos a week. That's why I'm doing this solo right now. Erwin's sick, but hey, we keep true to our word. So here we go. Um, I'm not gonna lie, jumping into it, when I first saw the Zion uh, 1, I actually really liked it. And I might be a little biased because, um, heads up, specifically we're gonna focus on the design silhouette and the aesthetics of the shoe. Obviously not a performance review, but okay. And one of the first thoughts I thought I had was, um, damn, these might be one of, if not the nicest or most stylish signature debut for an NBA athlete like legit one of my first thoughts and I might be a little biased because <clears throat> the colorway the premier colorway that they're like rolling it out with and marketing it marketing first is there's four colorways if you guys don't know here are the four but the premier one is the black and white with the hints of gold and I'm a big fan of that colorway on any sneakers or apparel um, I don't I'm, I'm more of a fan of low-key colorways when it comes to shoes especially like basketball so because it just makes it easier to match with my attire. Um, unless it's really, really dope, then I'll go for louder colorways. But usually I like to tone down, you know, the low-key ones. And that's, this This is just smooth. Like, it, it looks nice. It looks like, what I like about it too is that it's a basketball shoe that doesn't scream basketball shoe. Um, it looks just like a regular workout shoe. And if you really want, you can just rock this casually too. Um, I love how they added the Z and how they implemented the Z signature like logo or marquee and without like forcing it you know what i mean like i think it looks hella smooth the way that they did it on the external on the lateral side of the shoe as y'all can tell i like how they added the zion letterings on the ankle collar um just to disrupt the so the colorways in two plane and obviously the hints of gold help lift it um then you got the gold on the back and overall, props to Zion and his team for debuting such a good shoe. I think this shoe is actually going to do pretty well. The aesthetics are nice. The materials aren't the best from what I've read and from what I've watched on, on videos. But at least with this colorway, because it's black, the blackness kind of tones down most of it. And then, or like by tone, like hides it in a way. Um, so even if it's just like whatever mesh, and then there's also like the pho leather on the, on the, on the toe cap, like... It ain't that bad and it were at least it won't look that bad you know what i'm saying and yeah overall just the the white and uh black uh blockage they used on overall uh, on the on the upper i think the color blocking is really well executed and the icy outsole and the gold leatherings also disrupt the the you know from it being just plain black and white so, so give it a little little a little spice i'm actually really curious to see how these would perform looking at other shoes i did see one comment on twitter comparing them to the dane twos and i own the dane twos they were a great ball shoe so i don't think they're going to perform at the dane twos but they definitely have a similar look to them maybe that's also why i like these on shoes i don't know but comparing it to other uh <clears throat> debut shoes from recent times like we got the nike zoom kd1 this yeah it's all right. Um, the Nike Air Zoom Generation, which is AKA the first LeBrons. I fuck with those. I actually like them. Not a lot, but I like them. And then we got the Kyrie ones, which I'm sure most people are probably familiar because Kyrie, if I'm not mistaken, has been the best signature sneaker for Nike for the past couple of years. And we got the Under Armour Curry one. And then if you want to take a little more back, we got the, the Kobe one Pro Tro, which to me, if you guys want to review on it, let me know in the comments. But to me, that's the best outdoor sh ball shoe I've ever played in. Period. Period. Indoor too, but specifically for outdoor, it's so durable. I'm, I'm not going to get into a rant about it, but yeah. So, when I look at all these other signature shoe debuts, and there's also the, the Giannis ones with the backward Nike, etc. The White Knots with Westbrook. Like, actually, this colorway from... For Zion with the black and white does kind of remind me of a why not colorway but like when you look at all these other uh, signature day views and I know I'm missing some other ones or a bunch of other ones like I really think this this is up there I really think like in terms of just the design and the aesthetics it's a clean look 
Um, they're not trying too hard. They're not doing too much. The price point is great for 120 and for 120 good ass looking shoes. You know what I mean? Like, could they brought it down to maybe 110? I think so, based on what I've read the materials are using, but it's fine. I think they're gonna be solid to good performers too, to be honest, because what I've what I've noticed Nike and and most a lot of ball shoes recently is that they use they infuse all these techs, all the, all this new shoe tech, and they try to make it look as futuristic as possible. And sometimes it's just too much. And sometimes it doesn't even look like a ball shoe. And sometimes it just looks too out there. And sometimes all that works for nothing. Like it's just it becomes an overrated ball because they the tech just doesn't work as well. You know what I mean? So I think this is gonna end up. Um, falling on the opposite side of the spectrum where it's a plainer looking shoe it's stuck to the fundamentals of what makes a good ball shoe and it's built for Zion which you know containment and support is a must with that guy and I'm sure um, cushion is a big must too for Zion but he's younger so I don't think they would have focused they, they don't have to put the best cushioning and also because of the price point so all that being said for a player like Zion I think these are going to be good to great performers just based off thinking of how like nike's approach to this for this specific athlete is and i saw some people pointed out the outrigger on the side too that to me i'm a wide footer i think that's a a big plus for these shoes i think they're gonna fit wide feet pretty well but then that outrigger just looks great to like cross over to lean in or well, more lean out <clears throat> and yeah, I saw like these two other reviews, one from Jack Slade and another one from Shoe It. I don't know who this reviewer is, but he already has a pair. Like, if you guys want, I'll put the link down below. Um, just remind me, <clears throat> he has an already hands-on performance review. Or not performance review, but review. Like, he has the shoes in hand and he's breaking it down. And yeah, with that being said, <clears throat> come on. I... I don't know who would call these ugly shoes. I really don't. I think objectively speaking, they're a nice, well-rounded design shoes. And yeah, I and I think they're gonna do everything that they're supposed to do for Zion. And if you guys look on the lateral on the lateral side, the external side, there's they already added these bands, which is exactly where like Zion's foot had popped out during that infamous uh, shoe incident he had in college. So yeah. I actually really want to try these. I'll see if I get a pair. But if you guys want to see a shoe review, if you guys want to see Bosch sh uh, shoe reviews on this channel, let me know. On my personal channel, I did shoe reviews for a minute. And then now I just do BTD. But I figured if you guys want, we could do uh, shoe reviews for basketball shoes here and there. Obviously, it'll be like intermix with everything. We do want to mix up the content. We're working on that. But yeah, just a heads up. But yeah, that about concludes it for today. Um, let me know what you guys think. Like, I'm actually mad curious. Like, what do you guys think of this shoe? Am I overhyping it too much? Am I being too biased because of the colorway? Are there other colorways you really want? There's four. There, well, there's three other. There's four in total. Um, they all have like their personal meaning. I saw me, a meaning. I saw some cool ones uh, or cool explanations from Zion and other writers about it. Um, one thing that he really, or what he pointed out, Zion was on um, the tongue. And if you guys look, the tongue is pretty cool design. Um, there's like cushion on it, but the rest of it is pretty flat. So that's interesting. I like a little padding on my tongue So we'll see how that plays out where it's just What it seems to be padding on on the upper part of the tongue, but not the bottom So that'll be interesting because that's the mid section of the foot and you want some you don't want to when you you know Tighten your laces to be too tight, but yeah, we'll see from there and He just random thought but the reason he focused on the to tongues <clears throat> so the reason he focused on the tongue so much was because um, he said to him it feels like a like a superhero move where like it's like you putting on your cape because when you're balling you're pulling up the tongue and it just like gets him in like that you know mode you know what I mean and I was like all right that make that makes like low key it makes sense you know what I'm saying so I was like all right cool I fuck with that and yeah that concludes my take on design ones what do you guys think are they one of if not the best or nicest signature sneaker debut ever or at least lately um to me i'm gonna have to go out on a limb and say yes at least recently in terms of recent models yes over all the shoes i pointed out earlier probably over all of them except for the kobe one pro tro and the nike air zoom generation but the nike air zoom generation and the kobe one pro tro are kind of similar silhouettes with design one because the mid tops are a little 
bulky, but I have uh, watched in the video that the Zion ones are actually pretty light, though. So keep that in mind. While they may look bulky, they're not necessarily heavy. So yeah, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Until next time, take care.